All right, guys, deficit reverse lunge. Now, something very important. Um, when you get on a deficit, you need to make sure that your knee goes below the deficit or else completely pointless. I see so many people doing stuff like this and then you're like, okay, what was the point? Just stand on the floor. Makes no sense. You gotta go beyond or else this does not make any sense. Now, I don't know if I said this at the beginning, but this is a deficit reverse lunge, right? So how high should your deficit be? This is a really good question. I don't actually know. You're gonna have to figure this out for yourself. Something that's challenging for you. Don't go for like one inch because that's not challenging enough in my opinion, unless it is for you, but if, if a, an inch is challenging for you, you probably shouldn't yet be doing deficit and first perfect your form and just like off the floor. I would say start with at least probably four to six inches. If you don't know what six inches are, just so you know, I just found this out recently. A dollar bill or whatever, like bills are like six inches. So you could just measure. Who carries cash today? I don't know. But if you happen to have one and you're at the gym, you don't know how high it is. Just know that it's something like of that sort. Aerobic steps are usually, I think they're like four. So maybe go for like two of those. Um, okay, so from here, you're going to, because this is a reverse, you're starting, you're gonna stand on the deficit and step back, okay? Pick up those dumbbells. Start with your weaker leg. So the weaker leg is gonna be on the platform and the stronger leg steps back. Now make sure that when you come up, yeah, your back leg is helping you some, but make sure to drive most of the force from that front heel, okay? So this is what it's gonna look like. Step back, touch the ground, and drive from that heel up. Now slowing down is really gonna help you isolate that front heel. If you try and like bust through these, you're gonna end up using more of the back leg than you want and a fair amount of quad here, which I mean, hey, lunges and squats are anyway pretty quad dominant, but if you want this to be a little bit more glute emphasized, try and go a little slower and really drive from your front heel. That should help isolate that a little bit more and bring some, some more hammies and glutes into there. All right, I'm just gonna show you a few more reps. Step back and up, back and up. If you feel like your hips are coming up first and you, uh, you have to do that first, either the deficit is too high and or the weights you're holding in your hands are too heavy. So don't do that. I don't want you to like struggle to get up every rep. If that's happening on like your last two reps, I guess that's kind of okay, but even then still, not so much. I'd rather you choose a weight and a deficit that you can control with good form. All right? That is that.